Alright, so recently I downloaded the Discord public test build or PTB and I realized that the icon was exactly the same as the regular Discord icon and I wanted to change that because I wasn't able to tell which one was which when accessing them through my taskbar. But after messing around with some settings and stuff, I figured out how to do it. As you can see in my taskbar, there's a red icon, which is for the PTB version of Discord. And then the blue icon is for the regular Discord app that I use. But basically, you want to go to Google, search up any icon you want. And this also applies to other programs, not just Discord. I'm just using Discord as an example because I use Discord to mess around with the settings and figure out how to do this, basically. But yeah, this is the icon I use. Try to use a background or a photo with a background that's transparent. So to save a photo from Google, you want to just right click it and then save image as and save it wherever you want. And then after that, you want to open the photo that you just downloaded. Edit it with Paint 3D. You can do this with Photoshop as well, but I'm just assuming all Windows 10 users have Paint 3D for free. So yeah, and then just go to Magic Select and just crop out the icon as best you can. And then click next once you're done. Make sure add is highlighted if you want to add parts that it didn't pick up. Looks pretty good to me. And then click done. Should take a few seconds. And then you want to go to canvas at the top here. And then click on for transparent canvas. Make sure that's on. And then you want to go to menu, save, and then image. Make sure you save it as a PNG. Click transparency, so just the circle or icon with a transparent background. And you want to adjust angle and framing. I'm not really sure if this does anything, but I just did it to make sure it only gets a circle. So after you're done with that, click OK and then click save. And then you want to save it. So I already have a saved one. So as you can see, just a circle, no background. And then you want to go to convert ICO. It basically converts PNG to icon files. And now keep in mind, there are disclaimers at the bottom of the website here. Read them, make sure you're okay with them. If not, then don't use this website. It says like your icons are stored publicly for a while. So if you don't want that, don't use this. And they're not responsible for data error, losses, or discrepancies in the conversion. So just keep that in mind. If you're okay with that, then you want to just drag your PNG file here. So just click the download icon right here. And then as you can see, we have our icon file .ico rather than a PNG file. And then you want us to go to search right here, search up Discord PTB, and it shows up as blue, but we just want to change the shortcut icon. So right click it, go to open file location. As you can see, mine's already changed to red. So this is a shortcut icon. You want to right click it, go to properties, and then change icon. And then you want to click browse. You want to go to your downloads or wherever you downloaded your photo icon, whatever. And you want to drag in the .ico file in here. The reason for that is because in case I want to change it back to the original blue icon, the properties change icon will lead to this, this folder specifically. But if you don't care about that and you will never change it to the original one, you could just change it through your downloads or whatever, wherever you downloaded it initially, and it'll open that folder from then on. But yeah, I just want to keep it in the same folder, original folder. Yeah, that's pretty much it. After you change it, click OK and then apply and yeah it should work and you add it to your taskbar just go to your search again search up discord ptb right click and then pin it to taskbar so even though this is blue i know it shows up as blue if i unpin it it changed as blue at the bottom of my taskbar right here but if i pin it again to my taskbar it changes as red but yeah, basically the actual program icon stays the same, but if you just pin the shortcut to your desktop or your taskbar, that one is the one that's going to be changed. And yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, just comment them down below and I'll try my best to help out.